Medicine in three minutes. Let's get straight to the point. Today we're talking about PKU. This is an autosomal recessive disease in chromosome 12. PKU will occur because there's a deficit of the enzyme hydroxylase, and in consequence, you see an accumulation of phenylalanine, therefore the concentrations increase, and a decrease in concentrations of tyrosine. You want to test 48 hours after both birth, and if done soon, the baby does not have enough proteins leading to a false negative. The statistics amongst um, people who carry PKU, so that is unaffected carriers, if they give birth to a child, 25, there's a 25% chance that that child will be affected. There is a 50% chance that this child will be a healthy carrier, like his or her mom and dad. And there is a 25% chance that the child is completely unaffected. Symptoms. You want to look for fair hair, blue eyes, dry skin, albinism, mental retardation, athetosis, seizures, and vomiting. If you are a pregnant woman with PKU, you want to look for phenylalanine levels and its excess can cause microcephaly at the fetus. Untreated PKU sometimes makes a child smell mussy, and this is because there is a buildup of phenylalanine in his or her breath, urine, and sweat. In terms of diet, you want to look for a diet that is low in proteins, high in fruits or vegetables, and high in amino acids, most importantly in tyrosine. Thank you for watching Medicine in 3 Minutes. Click the button and subscribe. Thank you very much.